guys and welcome to this lesson so today we're going to talk about the internet what is the internet anyway i know there is a whole bunch of definition out there but in this course we're going to keep it simple okay so think about the internet like a, a whole bunch of computer around the world that are all connected to one another that's it there is a wireless there and they are all connected to one another through that okay so why do we need the internet for a lot of people use the internet for communication or they use the internet to buy or sell something for example amazon.com where you can just buy or sell any product you want there we also have silo.com which is another one where you can just post your house other people see it on the on the web and then they just can go ahead see your house and then they can just buy your house and finally we use the internet to have a present on the web okay you have a business you want to be out there you want other people to know that your business exists that's it you just post your information on the web and other people can go ahead and see it so how you know how how the web work what is the web anyway so the real the way the web basically work um think about like a paper okay this paper has a whole bunch of instructions right there and basically this paper will be stored in a special computer which is called a server okay and then from there the server a whole bunch of computer like this including like cell phones as well they will request anything they want to see and it's according to whatever they want to see they're gonna get it from the server okay so what's the server do anyway again you have this paper me as the creator of this paper right i just provide this paper to the server and i say hey hold this for a second well not for a second just hold this <laughs> and basically um a lot of people just gonna request anything they want and then they just gonna get it from the server instead of me they asking me directly like for example hey i reckon you show me this image that instead of that they will basically ask to the server again we have this paper but but imagine this paper have a special character let's say okay or i would say syntax syntax means like rules okay so I write my paper in something that is called HTML. We're gonna get there, don't worry. So, because this is written in HTML, the web server can hold this, okay? So I just write my paper on HTML, I just pass it up to the server, and then any web browser, whenever they want the, you know, whenever the person want to basically go ahead and see this paper they will ask the browser the browser will communicate with the web server and then the web server basically we have any document that the browser is asking for so what's the web browser do again we have a web server here is have a whole bunch of files reading html or other programming language we're gonna talk about. And then the browser basically ask for it to the server. The server basically just send the file, right? Or the paper. And then the paper display whatever they have there. All right, so this is getting interesting now. So how the browser know how and what to display? Remember that I tell you that this paper will be reading in a special character, okay? So that special 
thing it is called HTML, which is hypertext markup language. Okay. And let me show you how it looks like. So this is the HTML. This is how it looks like. So again, my paper, which is my file, it has this thing right here. However, when the browser ask for it, it will display like this. So as you guys can see so far, basically we are like you know, writing something in a different language, but the browser is translated in a like more easy way to read, let's say. So we have tag. As I mentioned before, my paper, and I know I'm going crazy with my paper, but uh, it has some HTML code, okay? This code basically is built using tag and or elements. So we're gonna get there, don't worry. So what is a tag anyway? A tag just words or characters, simple, okay? In angles, like less or greater sign, or we can also call it brackets, okay? So for example, we have the HTML tag, we also have the heck tag, and we basically have the title tag, okay? We have a whole bunch of tags, but I just gonna keep it there for now. So basically each tag, it tells the browser how the structure and the meaning of the test will look like, okay? Which is me, like basically a web page is basically very organized, right? When you use the right tag. That is important, by the way, okay? And in this way, if it is very organized, basically each tag will display what it's supposed to display at the moment when the browser asks for it. Okay, so we have more tags. So basically this tag here is basically to represent a paragraph, okay? And then we have H1, H2, H3, oops, it went up a second, H4, H5, and H6. These are all tags that they are using for headings. And then we also have a title, which is defined the title of the document. It is required in all files, basically. It is very important that you guys have a title and you will see why. So guys, in the next lesson, we're gonna create our first web page.